Okay, see, my name is uh, Ravi Kumar T. So, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVAT Bangalore. So, today I am explaining the second problem, second problem of square prism. See, problem is square prism 35 mm sides of base and 65 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edge. Okay, so one of its edge. So, first we will see if I have to construct first position. So, we will take edge, this is the edge condition. So, we will take 35 mm square, we will construct the square. Then we will do the naming. I already told that prism will be contained top and bottom face. So, A1, B1, A2, B2. So, that is the thing. So, here this is a resting zone. So that's why I have taken A1, 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 B, B1, C, C1, and D, T1. Okay, and diagonal lines are invisible. So, that's why I have drawn with a very thin line. That's a projection line. Okay, so there you are getting a center O, O1. This is a you know base. After that, draw projection line up to XY line. Then take a axis height. How much? 65 mm is the axis height. Take axis height 65. Then complete the square prism. A rectangle. Okay. So then if you are looking from this side, bottom of an object, A, A1 is visible. D, D1 is invisible. Okay. That's why I have written A, A1 dash, D1 dash. Next, A dash into D dash in the bracket, okay, because not visible. Similar way, B, B1 is visible, C, C1 is invisible. So, that's why I have written B1 dash in the bracket C1 dash, C dash in the bracket B dash, okay. This is a first position, okay. So, we will see the second position. So, second position, here they given, like, see, one of its edge of the base, which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. This is one of the very important sentence edge of the base which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Previously what they given? The axis of the prism is inclined to VP at 30 degree. So here instead of axis they given a edge. Okay, resting edge. You have to incline the resting edge to VP 30 degree. And before that they given draw the projection of the prism when axis of the prism is inclined to HP at 45 degree. So we have to take first HP 45 degree and this is a without locus problem. Please be careful. Okay. A inclined to HP 45 degree. So take inclined to HP 45 degree. So for constructing you have to find out the base angle. So base angle is what? 90 minus 45. So you will get 45 degree. So this is 45 degree. Okay. If you take 45 degree here. Then you measure here and cut. Okay. So from one point you take 90 degree. From one point you take 90 degree. After that use a roller scale. Okay, use a roller scale, you just roll, roll like this. Okay, one and then two. Clear, you just roll like this. Understand? See, after that, see, extended, extend this line up to a XY line, then show the angle, so 45 degree. Okay, so now, so these are the visible lines, I will make it to visible. I will make it to visible. Okay, so these are the visible lines, so I have made it. After that, draw projection line downward. See, A1, there is A1 here. So from this side, okay, D1 is here. Similarly, I have drawn all the things. So what is the next step? You have to find out now which are visible and which are invisible edges. See here, very simple. I have given him one rule in the last problem. So first you draw all outer edges with a visible line. Okay, outer edges is what? So first, this is outer edges. One. After that, A1, B1 to A. So, final total outer edge. Okay, next is what? A to D. Okay, next is what? This. Okay, this is the outer edge, what I have drawn. After that, if you are looking from top of an object, and the top face is completely visible. So, make it visible. So, top face is A, B, C, D is a top face. Over. What is the left out? Only A1 and D1. So this A1 and D1, this edge is invisible. Okay, you draw that with the help of invisible line, means dotted line. Okay, you have to draw with the help of dotted line. Okay, no? it's not visible, so you just make it visible. So this is the dotted line. What is the left out? You have to draw axis line. This is axis line. 
ओके ना सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पोजिशन वॉट इज द थर्ड पोजिशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो थर्ड पोजिशन दे गे वन वी पी टू थर्टी डिग्री सो आई टेक लिटिल बिट डाउन ओके थ्री लाइन आर फोर लाइन डाउन आई टेक थ्री लाइन डाउन आई टेक थर्टी डिग्री ओके सो नेक्स्ट थर्टी डिग्री लाइन सो दिस इज अ Inclined to VP is thirty degree. Here is a very important thing. You will do almost the students will do mistake here. Instead of taking this resting edge on inclined to VP line, they will take axis. That is wrong because they given one of its edge of the base is inclined to VP at thirty degree. So you have to take this edge and place on the inclined to VP line. That is the one of the very important steps you have to follow here. Okay, so this distance is always three point five. So you take three point five. Okay, you take three point five, one and two. Okay, just do the naming. Okay, na. So this one is a one and this one is b one. Now draw perpendicular line. It's ninety degree. Ninety degree line. Okay, I'll take any one side. After that, I'll use a roller scale. Okay, na. So we'll draw. And then I'll just roll like this. Okay. Clear? Easy to construct. Okay. After that, very simple. You measure from A one to B one. A one to B one with the same distance D one to C one. Okay. So just. Yeah. So what is this? This is a B one, and this one is C one. Okay. What is the next step? Similarly, A one to A, the same distance D one to D. Okay. A one to A, D one to D. Clear. So now complete the profile. Join this. Join this. Okay. So why I have taken this problem? Because the students will do mistake here. Yeah, that's why I have taken. Okay. So here you have to be very careful. So resting edges inclined to VP. Okay. I think I left out only one. So that is uh, here A and B. I left out B and C. Just similar way. Measure from A one to B. Same distance with the C. A one to B. Then same distance with the C. Okay. This is B and C. Okay now. So complete this profile. Okay. Complete it. Over, I left out one thing, so that is a O, o dash. Okay, so very simple. Again, scroll this. Okay, scroll this. So where you will scroll? You have to find out the midpoint. How to find out the midpoint? Very simple. So from this to this, just cut an arc, measure and cut an arc. Finished. Okay, scroll, then find out the midpoint. So from here, you just draw approximately, then you can edit it. Okay. So now, from this point to this point, measure it and cut an arc. See exactly how taken. Next, similarly, from here to here. Okay, this side. So yeah. So this is the point. Okay. This is O, and this one is O one. Clear. So now, what you want to do? You need to draw projection line upward. So where is A? Okay. So A is here. Draw up to A. Okay, na. This one is A dash. Next, draw D. This is D dash. Next, you draw C.
okay so this is c dash next b next after that a1 a1 is on xy line this is a1 dash next this d1 is also on xy line sorry this is t1 t1 dash next c so bit to move this is what c1 dash next is b b1 dash okay after that o from here to o okay this is o1 dash next from o This is O dash. Next step. What is the next step? Okay, you have to tell me what is the next step. So you need to draw all the outer edges. So you'll draw all the outer edges. C C one is outer edges. Next C one to D one is outer edge. Next D to A is outer edge. Next A to A one is outer edge. Next A to B is a outer edge. Next B to C is a outer edge. Clear? Now, what is the next step? If you're looking from bottom of an object, the bottom face is completely visible. So make it visible. Bottom face is A1, B1, C1, and D1. So make it visible. Okay. What is the left out point? Is this is the point. This point is invisible point. So joining between visible to invisible is invisible line only. Okay. So just draw invisible. Yeah. So this completes your problem. So this completes the problem. So it's a very important problem because edge of the base is inclined to be at thirty degree. Thank you.